High five. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, and welcome to the channel. It is Friday, and I'm gonna get a pivot fired up first thing this morning, get it walking, watering these peanuts for the probably, eh, maybe the last time. Today's a good day. We're gonna start plowing up some peanuts, gonna do us around, check them out. So yeah, let's get with it. step out here in this cotton field I'll show you this I believe we have some nematode problem take a look at this you got spots where it looks great you know vibrant green couldn't ask for any better looking cotton then you got little hot spots throughout this whole field that the color drops and is actually already starting to drop the leaves shut everything down got cotton opening up so nematodes man and what's crazy is we even put out vellum in furrow when we planted this cotton usually historically this field is bad with nematodes years if we have you know peanuts we'll put out tell on or even cotton we'll put out tell on so we didn't do any tell on this year we did in furrow vellum forget the rate the root knot nematode which i don't really see any on that which i'm no expert by no means but that's what i think it is let's just plant him back he'll come right back transplant stand right back up i'll grab the drone fly it up here and show you what i'm talking about there she went ah! here we go we're up in the air flying high so a nematode what is a nematode well it's exactly what it says it is it's a miniature little toad that eats the roots of a peanut and cotton plant <laughs> of course not what it is is actually a little parasite. It's a little big microscopic little animal, like a little worm-like thing. But man, they'll tear some cotton up. Where are we going? I thought we were talking about nematodes. All right, we're gonna fly over here and check out this pivot real quick. This is a three-tower rinky pivot. Whoa, don't get wet. You better bring that drone up. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna crash another one, I tell you what. All right, I guess we head, yep, we're headed back now. Uh, there, there's the wash again. So yeah, nematodes are a huge problem. You can put out tail on, that helps things. Uh, Bellum can help as well. But, uh, oh, okay, I guess we're landing. Let's head to the peanut field. Whew, man, I'm always nervous when you first start plowing up peanuts. It's been a long time. It's been over a year since I plowed up peanuts. And I like to forget what to do. Here we go. It's a drop. Keep he's checking behind me, tell me if I need to go up or down. I think I need to go up just to grunt. Yeah, go up just a little bit. You don't want to leave a huge tap root because that's more for the picker to, you know, to pick. All right, so what we got here is he's taking it a little too deep. You don't want all of this. You want to cut them off right at that tap root. Doing pretty good right there. That's 1500 RPMs, 2.6 miles an hour. Woo! I'm excited. I'm getting excited. Let's look at them. Think they're Jeff? Look pretty decent. Nothing yeah, they're decent. I mean, need to come up just a little bit more. Yep. Another light one. That's Jeff there scratching. You. I got a good one. A little darker. Still got nothing in the black, and that's what we need is some in the black. Some dark brown class. A little better. A little better. Just the weather, man. What's the weather report for next week? The about 50% chance on Tuesday. Okay. 50 on Wednesday. All right. We got a pool front moving in that's going to drop the temperatures anywhere 15, 20 degrees. Oh, well, that sounds nice. That you want. Yep. I don't know, Jim, but they push. Yeah, you bored them, huh? So, these peanuts are not hurting to come out of the ground by no means. I would say three days we can let them sit, maybe in five days. Let's try it again. Look at Keith, you gave them incredible shots. So this 
is what we've waited for all year. I mean, by far, my favorite time of the year is harvest, especially cotton season. I love running the cotton picker. Now, I like plowing up peanuts, picking peanuts is fun, but cotton, that's where the real fun starts. I mean, you really can't even tell what the row is. It's just a carpet of peanuts. So before, you know, you really had to focus and stay on that line. So aggravating. Dad's told me stories of years where it was just a nightmare trying to plow up. You know, he tried it, couldn't do it. Finally got somebody that would do it. And I think it was Brad Peeler that would do it. Uh, but anyway, so much nice with GPS. You know you're on your line. Everything's good to go. So these peanuts today are 142 days old. Um, and our crop consultant, they pulled a sample. They said these peanuts were about three to five days off. So by that, you know, this peanut's around, geez, pushing a 150 day old peanut if you go by that. Such a hard decision to make as far as when to plow up and when not to plow up. Because like we said, a lot of money can be made or lost in this decision. Best thing to do is plow them up, look at them, test them out, grade it, look at your grade, and then go from there. Because there's a lot of factors. You've got weather to think of. It comes in, rains next week, and they just sit here, we can't get them out. They're just gonna mature more and more. Uh, what else? I mean, tons of factors. Amount of acres you got to cover. I mean, on a good day, we've got two Amata six rows. You know, maybe on a really, really good day, we could pick, I don't know, 50, 60 acres. Plowing up, you know, depending on how hard you wanna push it, plow up 50, 60 acres a day. Um, what you say, we only have around not even 600 acres of peanuts so some guys in this area have you know 2,000 acres of peanuts or more so you really got to get after it it all worked out all right let's go to lunch oh hey keepy it's got cameras everywhere coming in Whew. all right we are going to grab something to eat back from lunch gonna let keefe plow out for a little bit so i can get some drone footage keefe i need to show you how to run this thing are you good if you see me doing this you're off the row <laughs> <laughs> looks like a snake that's right all right have fun all right moving over here now we're in the dry land we got 20 acres of uh 06 g so these should be more ready than where we just left off for the uh, 297s so we're gonna plow them up take a look at them scratch some nuts and see what we got Yeah, they should be just about. Everyone in the uh -huh. This whole world. Yep. White mold. Yeah, the ones out on the uh, stem ain't quite there. Right. But the ones right by the tap root. They but all the tap roots are uh, looking good. Man, we got a bunch of white mold hits. Look at that. One, two, three, four. Well, these are ready here. We checked them. It's kind of what we thought that these would be. These will be ready to, to plow up. So I'm just going to plow up this 20 acres. All right, just a quick little update. I have got 5.41 acres plowed up to be exact. I'm going to drive to the end and we'll stop, take a look at them. But man, overall, peanuts look great, especially for dry land peanuts. Hoping these are well over two tons, maybe, you know, two and a half tons, maybe three tons of spots. Who knows? Looks good, flush y'all. Looks really good. I'd also like to give a quick shout out to Amadis that hooked me up with these awesome hats and uh, like the dust mask, whatever you want to call it. Not too bad for dry land peanuts. They actually look really, really good. Look at all them peanuts. Goodness gracious, look at all them peanuts. So that's pretty much it. I guess I'm going to end the video here. I'm going to finish plowing this up. So get used to nothing but peanut videos and cotton videos. That's pretty much what we're going to be doing from now until Thanksgiving. Uh, we always get into peanuts first. So we'll start peanuts first. 
process is we plow up, leave the peanuts on top of the dirt for three or four days, and then the pickers come in and pick it. Uh, so the guy that's on the plow, which is my father, always plows up peanuts. It's one of really the mainly only job he does on the farm now. It's what he loves to do is plow up peanuts. So he's off frolicking right now at a Yamaha motorcycle rally in Blairsville, Georgia. But he'll be back first part of next week. He'll be rolling the, the plow, so you guys will get to see him quite a bit more. Hopefully, he doesn't like to be on camera, but maybe we can talk him into it. Uh, and then Cotton. We'll be in Cotton here pretty quick, too. So, yeah, buckle up. It's going to be a lot, a lot of videos coming up. So, appreciate it, guys. If you haven't done already, please subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. And, yeah, it's going to be it. Let's keep it in the Bye. field, row. See Bye. you guys. Bye. Let's go. Oh no, look at them grow, look at these nematodes as they go, eating the guts out of my peanuts, making my cotton get so rotten. Oh no, nematodes, you gotta go, you can't stay here long, put that bellum in, you're gonna...